Ooh, ooh, Joanna. Hi, good evening and welcome once again to the studios of Star Radio UK. Um, I'm trusting everybody has had a fantastic week. Uh, weekend, I should say, and a great start to the week, um, as always. Uh, you're listening to Star Radio UK and The Mindset Show with myself, Tony Williams. Always glad to and delighted to welcome all you guys on board. For those who joining us in through social media, those who are listening on YouTube, those who are coming in through uh, Periscope, and those who be li- listening to the show at a later date, I want to say a big welcome to tonight's show. Um, though I've run a few minutes uh, over the hour, but we're going to try and make the most of um, the rest of the 45 minutes that we have in there tonight. Um, as I always say, I start with a monologue and then the show becomes a dialogue after. Uh, so if you feel the need to join in the conversation, feel free to call in on any of the studio lines on 0208 233 I want to take the time to say a big shout out to you, you guys joining me on Facebook. Me, uh, uh, Authority, that's my boss. And um, sorry, uh, Yomi, that's my skillful player from football. I want to say a big welcome to all you guys. I hope you have a fantastic time with the show uh, whilst you're on air. Tonight, we want to look at uh, a positive self direction. You know, it's easy to sort of pick out a topic in terms of positivity you know and the way brexit is going where it's just going back and forth back and forth you just wonder if they have you know if the government government in place has any sense of direction at all you know let alone with her attitudes of positive positiveness towards that direction um but needless to say that's not what we're that's not the kind of positive direction we're talking about we're talking about self-positive direction, um, that kind of uh, direction that leads to purpose, that, you know, intentional direction that we, we need to have as human beings in order to, you know, fulfill our dreams, achieve our goals and uh, make our desired results come through. Um, So what is, you know, positive direction? Here's a few things you need to know. It means, first of all, that we need to have some sort of self-image, you know, because um, a direction is something that you visualise, so to say, you know. So if you're you're going somewhere and you say, oh, I need directions to this place that um, I'm going to, that means, in essence, that you're not there yet and you're asking yourself um, or you're asking somebody else or you're consulting google maps or whatever to you know ascertain the right direction to get to this place that you need to get to Um, so technically the end result of where we're going is the image that we have in head you know at you know in view or that we image that we visualize And then how we get there or how we get to that image or the route or route, as the Americans would like to say, that we take to get to that image is the directions that we have. And so um, to add that and to put it all together, to put flesh onto this bone, you know, to make it a whole, that what I'm trying to say is if we have goals that we set for ourselves, um, we have career goals, we have financial goals, we have relationship goals, we have physical goals, you know. We have to be able to visualise these goals. And and, and it, it's inevitable to, not I shouldn't even use the word inevitable, it's impossible to say anyone doesn't have no goals. We all have goals. It's the size of those goals that is the difference. That's the major difference. You know, some people just have goals to... to live to the end of today and really that's what happens because the goals that they have 
um, it would end after they finish the day. So they would they have goals to just survive to the end of the day. They achieve that goal. That that means they reach the end of the day for today, and then tomorrow they wander aimlessly. They have nothing left to do because what they set out to do from the dawn of day they've achieved it. But technically speaking. So technically speaking, not but so technically speaking, it, everyone does have goals. You know, some people just have goals to buy a new car. Some people have goals for houses. Some people have, you know, goals to have the finest woman. And after that, what? You've achieved that goal. So what? So if you don't set a next goal for yourself, whether it's a meaningful goal or not a me or or I'm not sure if that's the right English on meaningful, <laughs> meaningful or meaningful, you know, I stand corrected if you feel the need to. Um, we, we all have individual goals. Some people just have goals to, you know, be able to have three square meals a day, you know, and after that, you know, it's another hustle for them to carry on, you know, getting further meals down the rest of the week or the, down the rest of the month, i.e. they find themselves in that repetitive circle that constantly got enable, or that constantly makes them go out to seek, search and hustle for more because they live by their day-to-day -day goals and once those goals are achieved, then they need more to sustain and meet the next goal that they set for themselves. But the, at the end result of that goal is the image that most people have. And so for once you have that image, which is your target goal, you work backwards from that image, you know, routing it to yourself. But obviously how you work backwards is the direction that we're talking about today. You know, so direction is the only thing that turns imagination into reality. I did mention that it could turn fantasy into facts. It could turn dreams, well, it couldn't, not, not that it could, it would turn dreams into reality, it would turn fantasy into facts, and it would turn dreams into, in, uh, into goals. It would actually turn destinations, it, it would turn journeys into destinations. So positive self-direction is actually what you call purpose. That means that when you see people who have positive self-direction, you there's always something about them, you know, that you just know that this person he's is just on his game. He's, you know, they, they always just look on point. Like, that, that, you know, you look at them from afar or you look at them online or social media and there's just always something positive going for them. You know, these things don't happen or just drop from heaven onto people's laps. You know, there has to be some background planning, some background uh, strategic, you know, things that are put into place in order to make it, you know, become what we see and admire from afar. You know, if they just live the K Sarah, Sarah kind of lifestyle or mentality that you know whatever would be would be then when we look at them you know it, it's it, it, it would speak you know things would be in disarray things won't look so organized and you know you you won't be you know you, you you'd be able to put fingers to think that these things just don't add up because you know it, it doesn't fit the picture that you would expect um to see on a regular basis because at the end of the day we all know, and maybe I shouldn't put it that way, but I like to say we everyone knows what success looks like, you know, in their own respective way. So if you're aspiring to uh, become something, when you see someone who's become that thing that you're aspiring to be, you know what that point looks like. You know, when you see someone who's aspiring or who's faking to become what you want to be, you know, you could tell that he's faking. So we all know what the original looks like. Um, and, uh, and the process in which we used to um, take to get to that original we all know what it looks like or how it feels like or the challenges that we have to face now the truth is whether we're prepared to put our foot you know our first foot forward and take those steps or even after we put our first foot forward whether we're we're prepared to stay true and face the ups and downs and challenges and not just sort of uh regress or fall back into our shell 
it's all a different it's all a different ball game and it would be the determinant whether we sort of achieve those goals that we want or or that we dream to achieve so people who have as i said people who who have positive self direction they always seem to look like they've got their game on um they always seem to know where they're going you know on a day to day basis like it, it, they're just on point you won't phone you can't just phone them out of the blue and say uh oh, you know uh, uh, there's a party happening and they go yeah you know like to in an hour and they go yeah i mean something you know or you can't just say ah oh, I'm coming to see you right now. You know, it, it's it, these kind of people. You have to consult their diary. They have to consult their diary. They they they've got a calendar. They've got a diary. You know, they look at. They, uh, t- well, I was almost gonna say timetable. <laughs> I was gonna say timetable, a mobile calendar. And I think everyone should have a mobile calendar. You know, it, it's funny because every phone gives you a mobile calendar for free. It's not. It's not. A, I mean, they have paid ones. I know there's paid ones. But every phone gives you one for free, and it's amazing the amount of people that you come in contact with that don't even use it at all, and you know they just want to sort of squash everything into their head, you know, timing into their head. No wonder most people run late and miss appointments because you know there's no reminders for it. That you know is not on the forefront of your screen, just like any other social media alert or prompt will be on your screen. And then obviously the difference is clear um, once uh, we, uh, or the consequences are, are dire, not the difference is clear, the consequences are dire once we miss such important appointments. So, as we know, as, um, these things are important towards success. And as we know, success is easily defined as a progressive day-by-day realisation of goals that is worthwhile to the individual and to others and i'll probably have to repeat that is like the, the easiest definition to success that i've come across and a lot of probably i would say psychologists or speakers they use as well is that success is an easily progressive day-to-day realization of goals so you know every goal you, so so the person who i said um has a desire to have three square meals at the end of the day if he has achieved you know those um eating those three square meals he he he's he's attained his success for his day so that's what i said i mean it, success is is unique to every individual some people have you know big flair or big you know yearns for success some people have tiny tiny yearns for success but in each you know various aspect um that they s- seek this success for they're successful in their own right it doesn't have to be financial it doesn't have to be material it doesn't even though that's what the world measures it on but it doesn't have to actually be you know uh that exactly to define it really it's how you achieve your day-to-day things how you achieve your minute by minute how you set goals for yourself and you achieve it how you sign up for a weight loss program which is a 30-day program and you complete it that's success in that area and you know you don't have to undermine that because it's not affiliated to a massive payout at the end of the day or you know it's just something that only you would see and you don't probably even have to buy new clothes because you know, maybe you just gained a little muscle hair or lost a little weight you know and, and you know it feels like nothing but you know um mentally you you have attained something that you set out to do and that's exactly what success is um so we shouldn't always mix it with the fact that success yes it is you know beautiful to have you know all the beautiful things and the nicer things as i say but really the 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 true definition of success it's a day-to-day realization of goals that is worthwhile to the individual who set it and probably to others around him. So generally, human nature is goal-seeking by design, no matter how big or small. And I think I did mention it, you know, as humans, we, we, we you know, as a baby, you aspire to become um, a toddler. As a toddler, you aspire to become a, a child. As a child, you aspire to become a uh, uh, kindergarten as a kindergarten adolescent I'm not sure if the if, if if the steps are right but that's what I think it is adolescent then you know an adult 
And the truth is, as human nature, we just we aspire to grow. You know, if you see a child that is born and it's the baby or the child is maybe five years old, for instance, and still crawling, not walk walking. You know, at least you know, at not what and and I'm talking about disabled children. I'm just uh, talking about just generally the steps in which ch children grow. And the child is five years old and not walking or running or speaking or then you know there's a problem so generally human nature is that we grow you know and the process of growth is something that we have to follow you know they, they are, so when you when you see that there's a problem wrong you could easily look back that oh when did this child start you know when did it he or she start sitting when did they start crawling when did they stand up when did they try or when should they try and have taken their first steps? And, and, and you know, these are all signposts and you can't have signposts to a certain goal if there's no directions that you ought to follow, you know? So, and if you take that sort of analogy and you bring it back to life in general, if you have a goal that you set for yourself, there has to be signposts that you reach or that you, that you have to stop by or that you have to use as measurable places or measurable pointers that you're on track to your goal because if you don't have signposts that you have followed that you're on track to, uh, on on track to measurable pointers to your goal then technically you know by the time you get to that goal um <clears throat> Needless to say, I wouldn't like to say you won't value it because you will think you've got there anyway. But uh, I don't think, I, I just don't think you will be at the right position. You know, th there's no how you you follow, you, you get to a destination and sometimes you just wake up out of the blue and thought, wow, I don't, I, I can't remember how I get there or how I got here. You know, oftentimes when that happens, you know, even though I like to believe you sort of appreciate uh, the fact that you're there, but, uh, you know, deep down, you know, they, 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 there's not a sense of fulfillment because you've missed the whole journey that brought you to that place. Uh, you know, I, I may I dare to say that you've, the, the lessons that ought to be learned from those journeys that could, you know, um, sustain you at that destination now, it's probably not there. There's no lesson learned. You know, you you've just been catapulted into into how the, what back is it not back to the future or you know front to the future, and you know you haven't got anything that is tangible to hold on to as experience um, that you that you've drawn from the whole way, uh, time or reason that you've that has brought you to that exact goal. So generally, human nature is goal-seeking by design, no matter how big or small. When we set a target, mentally or physically, the human system or mindset makes every adjustment possible and necessary uh, from the target area to stay on course. And that's why, that's why the goal has to be set first. We visualise the goal. And then once that goal is visualised, it just, it's just, you know, our, 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 our nature because that's what we we're now aspiring that's what we're now visualizing the human nature would find all necessary routes possible you know as, as long as we keep it you know on the forefront of our mind you know remember that saying that says as a man thinketh in his heart so he is he not only so is he so he becomes so if you continually think oh i'm going to be a failure i'm going to be a failure i'm going to be a failure ultimately at one point or another you end up being a failure if you constantly think oh i'm going to be success i'm going to be a success i'm going to be a success even though you might not hit the level of success that you attain but people will still look at you because you're in that process or you're in that line and you you, you know because it's something that you mentally rehearse you, your actions will start speaking success the way you talk will start speaking success you know you can't be saying to yourself i'm you know you can't have this sort of what they call mental uh what was it uh cognitive dissonance where your mind is thinking one thing and your body is thinking another and that's why a lot of people don't you know sort of uh attain these 
these levels of things that they desire for their self because their mind is thinking one thing um but their body is thinking another but for for the majority of the people that you know treads that line of visualizing it and attaining it when you look at their story or when you read their story or look at you know uh, the journey that they've come through you, you would see that you know in the direct in the positiveness of their self direction they just remained steadfast you know they progressed even in the face of challenges you know like you you know like uh, I'm not quite sure if you've ever been in a proper wind storm I, I know we used to have some of them in london back in the days it's not weather with all the global warming now. i don't think it's it's been that bad for a while but you know there used to be years when you would stand and as you're trying to move forward in the cold sort of breeze of winter the wind is blowing you black and blowing you back but you, obviously you've got a destination to get to you your destination could be your home it could be your place of work work and as you're moving you know as you're sort of pushing forward the wind is blowing you back and you you know you're you're folding up your jacket and you're covering your air and you're just thinking ah, i've got to get to this place and 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 that's just how 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 life is you know regard uh, you know they say no one ever said it's going to be easy you know there's nothing in life that's going to be easy it's never going to fall on our laps we've got to we've got to forge our way through it we've got to fight through all the challenges try and stay steadfast we've got to have a positive mental attitude it can't even be reiterated enough how strong you know our mind has to be especially you know and i used to say like nobody ever teaches anyone how to be a man i, I don't know my dad really didn't teach me how to be a man he he, he, was, he just beat me like he, he just he just and really I, I i i now sit back with my son and uh, you know I, I probably tried that you know at the early stages of my son's development and i thought yeah this ain't gonna work you know i've got to change the strategy because i wouldn't want him to sort of rebel the way i rebelled you know and i you know from years back i changed the strategy and i start even before he finished secondary school and i just started talking to him and the truth is the change that that those words have become con persistent and consistent words you know reality but encouragement reality but encouragement you know chastising him in reality chastising him in love but still encouraging him and um it's made a, it's made a whole difference to his own mindset you know the things that he would have normally not believed he could attain he he you know he has the confidence to you know to forge through and he now understands that but yes even though i'm going to forge through i am going to meet challenges as a young black man living in you know the south of london uh, you know my environment is going to suppress it but i've got to keep my eye on the price i've got to keep my eye on the goal and i've got to keep fudging forward i've got to turn those challenges that i face into opportunities you know to seek other ways to you know execute my goal and exit you know make my dreams become reality in life and only then and then only would i be able to to achieve these goals you're listening to the mindset show with myself tony williams we're talking about having a positive uh self-direction or positive directional mindset you know regardless of what the challenges are and I know the challenges are a lot. Uh, they always say when you uh, think your challenges is the best, all you have to do is listen to somebody else, and then you be, you know, you'll adopt an attitude of gratitude uh, that your challenges are even as just as minimal as what they are compared to other people. But the truth of the matter is. Um, in order to get to this place uh, to overcome this in order to develop the mindset to overcome these challenges there are certain things that we as individuals have to constantly put in place um, we have to be able to develop that attitude of talking positive to ourselves. you know believing in yourself I, I, I think I spoke about these things last week um, about self-belief where I've um, 
if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else is going to believe in you. You've just got to constantly know that regardless of what it is, you're the man for the job, you're capable for the job, no matter what the rejection is. You've got, as I said, you've got to keep forging forward because you've got that goal that's set in front of you. It's the easiest way to be, you know, um, it's like someone who, someone who desires to, um, uh, how could I say it? Someone who desires to pass, pass an exam, you desire to get a qualification and, you know, you said to yourself, oh, I, I need a BF, BSC, you know, I just want those titles, regardless of what it's for, whether, or, you know, or uh, MBA, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I need an MBA, you know, added to my, my accolades, added to my, my de the, you know, the list of accolades that I have. And, you know, after finishing uni, you, you don't enroll for no sort of um, MBA programs. It, it's never going to happen. But when you have that vision in your mind, you know, you, you want that degree, you know, and you know exactly what you want it for, and you've enrolled through it, and you've started attending courses, and, you know, you, you, the first year, the, I think it's a two, the 18 months program, the, you know, the, the, these years, they're fast tracks MBAs, I think, for 12 months or so. And... You're constantly going on a day to day basis and every day, you know, you're you're putting one day behind you and forging on to the next. You're doing the course wars, you're doing the assessments, you're submitting the the essays and eventually you get to that stage where, you know, there would only be one more sort of term left or you know, a few months to that. And, you know, if you persist a little bit longer you get to that stage where you sit the exams uh, or sit the assessment and then, you know, your, your degrees are falling on your lap. But all through that process, it's been a learning period. It's not been an easy process. It's definitely been hard. It's def definitely been challenging. It's definitely been a lot of reading, research and writing. Um, but you forge through it because you know you wanted the goal. Uh, forget the financial, you know, cost that it would have cost to you because i know how much these programs are these days even if the government is paying for it you still have to pay it back at one stage or another um and but that's just generally how life is you know um so we have to keep on believing in ourselves that we could do it our decision making you know in all that analogy in terms of you know you decided to do it you have to decide you cannot decide not to decide you know the, the change at any stage only comes in life when you decide you know until you decide, like you, not nobody else, decide that I am going to do this. I am going to change this. I change sits in its corner, is waiting for you to make a decision. You know, it, it, it's funny nobody says it, but change in life and decision making, they're like twin brothers. They they walk hand in hand. It one you cannot find one without another. You cannot find where someone has a change in life and he didn't make a decision to change or has a change in finances and he didn't make a decision to improve his financial situation or has a change from addiction to break free from addiction and he did not decide you know so you you, you decide but the truth of the matter you know having said that you know the irony of it is some people still decide not to decide so they will say to themselves okay i want to they decide that okay i want to break free from addiction today and then before the end of the day, they decide to go and smoke another cigarette. They, you know, the cigarette doesn't, it's not magnetic. You can't go like this and it will just fly and stick to your hand. You know, like how Superman does his thing, uh, boop, and it just flies. Not Superman. Uh, what's, what's that guy's name? Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah. And it just, you know, the thing just flies to, through his web. It doesn't happen like that. You go, you, you know, even if you don't have it at home, you officially, you decide to go to the shop. You decide to look for coins or you decide to bring out your card. You decide to put the pin in. You decide not to only buy the cigarette, but you buy a lighter. It's decisions at every point where if you really wanted to make that change, you could have thought, you know, after you brought out the card, nope, I'm putting it back in. Okay, after you bought the cigarette, ah, uh, no. Um, or you might there's nothing wrong with you forgetting to buy matchsticks you know <laughs> then you just have the pack there that you look at and it doesn't you don't light it you know so decisions we make into having these directions they have to be strategic they have to be decisive we have to plan them um 
because the humans because unless we do that the human mindset as I, as we all know um it would just sort of you know it, it 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 likes to go to a comfortable place so if it sees that this is where you're comfortable it will keep you in that comfortable state it it, it doesn't like to be disturbed you know and and that's why the mind controls the rest of the body you know so even when your body wants to do but you're sitting there and your mind just says just relax man everything you know have another zoo have another thing don't do this don't work towards this goal don't and you just find yourself sitting there rocking on a rolling chair the whole day goes the funny thing is that a whole week would go the worst things that whole year would go you know hers first in five years would go and people still find themselves in the in the same position because they're not deciding you know to make a change and then follow the directions uh, that that change would entail them to take you know many winners in life they have what we call a definite of popos i've spoken about that and the truth is that losers just generally they self-destruct so where a a, a, a winner would latch on to so a winner will set a goal for himself boom and you could you imagine if you you know everybody gathered together gathered together and we said we're going to watch a football match everybody's paid money to watch the football match and or arsenal and manchester it's going to be no time and no goal post like would we actually call that a match because the players will play to what i just said to they self-destruct because they've got nowhere to aim at that could count the score to make anyone a winner there's got no, there's, they've got no time frame that would um allow them to know that okay at this per specific time I've been able to attain my goal. They're just playing on the pitch. You know, perhaps the pitch is not even aligned. So they're just playing, bouncing it off the wall, bouncing it. And then they call that a match. It's not a match. The only way that could be a match could be determined and a winner could be determined if those two, two teams meet and we all paid to go and watch. If there's a goal post there that could, you know, sort of measure how many or count how many goals go in and there's a time frame to it so if you see a winner that's what he would have in his life in everything that he ascertains to do in life he would have a time frame for it you know and he'll be able to measure it he'll be able to visualize it have a time frame and he'll be able to have directions that would lead him you know positive directions that would lead him and the truth is because all of each of those directions have pointers on it even when he's swayed off of it he could still look up and say okay i'm only this far in terms of you know distance or in terms of actions or in terms of planning or in terms of repositioning myself to get back to this plan that i've set for myself or to get back to the point that would lead me onward journey to the plan that i set for myself you know and i said every individual has hidden desires you know they we all do as i said even a kid has a desire to turn into an adult you know uh, and and that's just how human nature is uh these desires for purpose has the ability to override any obstacle challenges that we're faced on a daily basis so you know as long as we have these desires you know uh, and on a daily basis we, you know we're over we're, we're stepping towards it we're growing towards it we're moving towards it each day that we pass we leave parts of the journey behind you know i'm going from the studio home the minute i get to the next traffic light or the minute i get into the car i've left the seat of the studio you know i'm desiring to get home you know, put that on a bigger scale, you know, put that into your relationship, put that into your the career that you set for yourself, put that into the financial circumstances that you want for yourself, put that into the spiritual growth that you want for yourself. The minute you get up from where you are now and you move, you make a move one step in front of the other, you know, towards sometimes it's not physically marching, sometimes it's actions and actionable steps that you take. And you're marching towards the next, or you've reached the next point. You've left one place behind. You know, now the challenge that you will meet at that point are unseen or unknown. You, you could, 
in terms of driving you could know that oh at this particular point there's roadworks there so i'm going to be slightly delayed but the truth of the matter is you could just meet on on planned roadworks and you're stuck but because you've got you know how many how many times you meet on planned roadworks and you think oh god traffic and then you know you start looking around ways what not what not or maybe if ways hasn't got no direction you just you know forge through you don't abandon the car right there ah like, oh, on plan road work this sod this car but i'm starting i'm walking and leave the car there no you you stand the test of time you stay in the traffic you probably play some music to your ears make a phone call or well, well, not if you're driving but yes we do you know, but, uh, and then eventually you get past it the price is you get to your destination it's not often times that many people just turn back and say oh, i'm going back home i mean it does happen which is a prerequisite for people who give up in life but oftentimes people will sit in the traffic three four five hours especially in the country that we come from and eventually gets to where they want to go so every individual has his desire for purpose in life. These desires has the ability to override, or override many obstacles and challenges we're faced with on a daily basis. The quest to achieve or attain our purpose keeps pushing us ahead, just as I mentioned. You know, it's like, you know, something like the will for life. You know, I'm not sure if you come across people who are sick and they, they just have the will to live. You know, someone who's had that same kind of sickness, uh, sickness, you know, just passed away, just gave up the ghost that any, you know, just at the slightest, you know, uh, uh, symptom. But you, you see some people who have this same symptom, you know, for instance, people who, who beat cancer, fight for cancer, you know or fight through cancer you just know there's something about them there's a purpose where they feel they ought to be on this earth for it's not just so that you know they can enjoy life and party they, they just they just you know they feel they feel you you just know that they, they need they have a purpose that they 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 feel is on incompleted and the reason why they have to sort of continue to fight uh uh, for the breath of life um, until they achieve that uh, desired purpose. Yeah. Um, you know, generally, generally, life is not accountable to us, as we all know. We're the ones who's generally accountable for life. It's up to us to find out what life has in stock for us. And many a times, that could only be done with de definite of purpose. You know, we, we, life is not accountable to us. We, life just, you know, Life just throws us in, and you know it dishes. You know it dishes us the hand, and all you could do is ask, "Ah, oh, 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 oh God, why, why me, why me?" Like the song the band sang, "Why me, why me?" But it still doesn't provide you an answer. You've got to go and grab. You know they said the kingdom of God suffers violence, and violence takes it by force. You've got to go out there, and fight for what is deserved off you from life you know when you fight for what is deserved off you off life this that's when life releases it to you you know it, very very few times does life just throw things in your direction and it's just yeah and then you could actually call it luck but oftentimes you go out there and you make your own luck you know you pave ways for yourself so that you could be lucky you know you take footsteps so that you could get to that place and then you could find luck there you don't just uh sit and think ah it's going to happen you know whether i do it or whether i do or whether i make any sort of uh i take any tentative steps towards making it happen or not it's just going to happen you'll be sitting down there for a long time you know the quest to achieve or attain our purpose keeps us pushing ahead, pushing push it it has to keep us pushing ahead at everything every single time and which brings us to the part where it's so important that we have a clear cut goal you know um, because if we don't have a clear cut goal you know or mark out the direction that we really want to take in life then it's easy for us to just become praise to anybody you know is either you stand for something or you 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 fall for anything you know, you've got to have a clear cut goal. You've got to be able to know what you're doing. You know, you've got, you've got, to, you know, it's like someone who, 
who who's studying and has exams maybe they have exam to maybe they haven't been attending class because there's some people that are just extraordinary brilliant but maybe they haven't been attending class they know in the heart of heart that you know that they're, they're not they you know they don't really know this course so much and you know they really need this course to pass and somebody just calls them and say ah and they've got an exam tomorrow somebody somebody just say ah let's go and play pool or let's just go and visit this person let's you know let's just roam around and do foolishness and they leave what they're supposed to do you know to come back at the wee hours of the morning and then you know you, you're not intending on passing that course you're actually intending on carrying that course over like the popular phrase that we use in nigeria is carry over you're intending on carrying that free, that course over you know but if you have a set goal that you know i have to pass this thing then you would put the the proper effort and the proper time that's required for you to study discern and you know assimilate the course so that you can spit it out properly or you can answer the questions that are asked of you accordingly and ultimately get the grades that is um that should be given for it uh, so any person without a clear 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 cut goal or mapped out direction in his life is an e it can easily become a prey to anyone else's or be a prey or be somebody else's push button remote control put it that way uh, the truth is if you don't stand for something as i just said you will do, um i made notes of this on my on my phone so just in case you you, know, you see me looking at the phone hence it's so important that we have eternalized values goals morals and even spiritual connections and you know when you have morals when you have the eternals eternalized value it depends on the the goal that you set for yourself you know different goals require different things off of different part of the human nature to be functional you know um in terms of uh so in terms of spiritual connections if somebody says to you ah, come on do i don't know uh i don't know uh what uh come and do occultism for for instance you know if you have spiritual values you could be thinking to myself this doesn't go align with my spiritual values or if someone comes to come and do sorcery or witchcraft and so you know you've been thinking to myself oh this doesn't it doesn't align with my own spiritual values so you know uh, the different values that you have to have uh, that you have to immortalize as uh, or eternalize not immortalize i beg your pardon eternalize as an individual um it doesn't only have to be spiritual as i said it could be morals it could just be personal values you know it could be uh it, it could just be purpose and, and you know when uh, yeah and most of all it should be direction so that when people want to yank you away from that direction and take you on what i would call a, a diversion you would know that you know you're being extracted from your purpose and you want to always align yourself uh, with your purpose because if you know if we know where we're going we're most likely going to get there if you don't know where you're going you're going to end up in uh, you know planet planet nowhere uh where there's life there's hope where there's hope there are dreams when dreams are repeated often they become goals goals are action plans for winners when goals become inner commitment they are most likely going to be achieved so it's important that we let our goals and dreams become our root bound uh, uh, we, it's important that we don't let our goals and dreams become root bound and, 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 and I'll end on that note because time doesn't permit me and root bound just means you, you put a flower in a pot and all it does is it, it, it grows or the roots of that flower it grows you know uh, to the environment of the pot it shapes itself to the environment of the pot it hasn't got the capacity to break through the pot and you know think you know think so don't let don't let your environment you know be your your root pot of your of your imagination you know of your goals of the directions that you know is capable for you if you could break your mental break free um your your imaginative mindset and you know allow it to just run riot you know because as you allow it to run riot you're you're not you're not um confiding it to a, a root r-o-t-t -T, pot you're confining it to the universe pot and if you confine it to the universe pot you know it could spread far and wide beyond what you could think imagine or comprehend and ultimately make you a big winner in life.
this is where I want to draw the curtains on tonight's show. I'm sure everyone's had a fantastic um, uh, uh, show tonight. Um, it is uh, being short because time hasn't permitted me to go long. But until next time and next week when we visit another topic on the Mindset Show with myself, Tony Williams, I wish you a very, very good week ahead. Um, go out there, stay winning and have a great week. Good night and God bless. Yeah.